Hello everyone, my name is Nikhilesh. I welcome you to my channel RPA Technaha. Today we're going to learn about list in UI path. I hope you have been enjoying my videos. If you like my videos, please do click on subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified on my new videos. What is list? In general life, we prepare so many lists. And while preparing the shopping list, we list down all the items that are required to be purchased. And while preparing that, you may add items to it or delete items from it based on your need. And this is pretty much similar to the list in UA path, wherein the size of list can be changed by adding or removing the values from it during runtime. So the size can be dynamic or not fixed. List is a part of collection and it requires to be initialized before declaring or adding the values. So you need to explicitly initialize the list to be able to add values to it. We make use of uipath.system.activities package to work with the list. So as and when you create a process, you will see some packages getting added to it. And one of them is uipath.system.activities, which is a default package, comes up with the process. And now let us see how we can initialize list in UA path and how we can add values to it and print them out on output console. Let's get started. So here I have created a blank process. And now let me just use sequence activity on my design canvas. I have just dragged and dropped it and I got the sequence container. I'll just name it as main hyphen sequence. What is the first step? So we need to initialize the list to be able to add values to it, right? So let me just drag and drop SN activity to initialize the list. So just type in new keyword and type in list and open the brackets and type in off and specify the type of values that you want it to store. Say string and close the bracket. So I have just created an object over list class and let me just create a variable reference for the same. So cities. So I just want to add my favorite cities to this cities list. So cities variable is created, but the type is string. So this requires to be changed to list. So I'm just browsing for dotnet types and type in list here and you'll find that list under MS Carlib over here. Just select and specify the type string and click OK. Now, if I click on design canvas, so you can see that error is gone away. So now that we have a list initialized, we can add values to it using add to collection. So list is a part of collection, right? So just type in collection so that you can see all the activities that are available for collections. So add to collection, clear collection, exist collection, exist in collection, remove from collection, okay? So now uh, let me just add some values to it since it doesn't have any values. So add to collection, just specify the collection, cities, so which is my list and the type of argument that it holds is string and specify the value. So I'm just specifying the value as Hyderabad and I will add one more item and specify the collection that is cities selected and the type of value it holds string the value Mumbai and I'll add one more value to it and cities type of argument string and the item is Bangalore so as and when these activities get executed during the runtime, 
all these three values will be added to the list called cities and let's say these values are added and how can i print them out on output console so just that you need to loop through these values and to be able to loop through you need to use for each activity just type in for each and uh, specify the list uh, my list is cities and i'll just change the argument name to city and whatever values the cities collection or uh, list is holding it is holding string type of values just type uh, change the type of argument to string and now inside here i can use right line activity to print each city on console just type in city since it is a string you need not explicitly convert that to string again just do f5 by running it in debug mode so you can see all the values displayed on the output console and now so this is one way to list out all the items in the list so i want to remove one of the items from my list say let's say i have accidentally added mumbai city to my favorite cities list so how can i remove that so using remove from collection you can do that just type in collection and you can see that here remove from collection just use that remove from collection and uh, cities is the list from where i want to remove an item so what type of value it is holding so it is holding string type of values my cities list is holding string type of value so the type of argument is string again and i want to remove mumbai yeah type in mumbai and this item will be removed and if you want to see if that's been removed or not so you can uh, you can do control k and then just enter so a boolean value will be created yes removed and say Uh, use right line Mumbai removed question mark colon okay I'm just I just wanted to print out uh, the boolean value that uh, remove from collection activity resulted okay just adding that is removed okay it will tell me if that item has been successfully removed or not so it's a boolean value so it it is required to be converted into string explicitly using dot to string just click okay and uh, so this will tell you if that item has been removed or not and if you want to check if that item is exists still in the list called cities so how can i do that so exists in collection will tell you if that particular item still exists in cities or not just type in cities and uh, specify the item that you want to check if it is present in the list or not so that is mumbai i want to check if mumbai is still present inside cities list okay and uh, so here if you see result control k and i'm just typing it as exists okay so here i'll just use right line again and i will say Mumbai present in cities question mark colon so it will say 
true or false so it should result me as false it is not present right i just removed it so what i can do is that so what is that exists exists is the boolean that will tell me if it is present inside or not so just convert it into string click ok now if i run it let me go to output console hyderabad mumbai bangalore so before deleting it it has got mumbai in it and uh, so after that we removed mumbai mumbai removed yes true mumbai present in cities false it's no more present right after removing that item and if you want to see by looping it by looping through the list you can do that just copy this just copy this and paste it here at the bottom and run it over again so here this time i'll again do f5 that is in debug mode i'm running the bot yeah and if i see the output console so it didn't print mumbai again because it was removed right yeah and that's how we can use add to collection exist in collection and remove from collection activities now i will do clear collection so which will clear all the items from a specified collection so what is the collection that is cities and the type of values it holds string so if i loop through you know if i loop through the cities again it will not result me in any values because i just cleared off all the items right so post clearing the items okay just using it and i'll just use for each again just for each again just to paste it yeah run it again so if i go to output console so after adding the items so i just printed all the items from the list using for each hyderabad mumbai bangalore are displayed and after that i used remove from collection to remove mumbai so mumbai removed it showed me true it got removed and again i'm checking if it is present in side list using exist in collection so that resulted me false because mumbai is no more present and after that i am looping through the list called uh, cities and then printing those out on console so this time i didn't see you know we do not see mumbai display because that got removed and after that i'm clearing off all the items from uh, the cities so that's the reason i do not see any items display after that right so let me just show it on outline so this is about a uh, list i hope you have enjoyed the session if you like it please do subscribe and click the bell icon thank you